Ant's room is busy today. Let's have a look from here. Yes, there we go. Over there, Craig, you see? You see the water monitor on the edge of the water. Now, if you just go straight in, there we go, to the straight in, you can keep going. Just at that little green clump in your frame there. Frame there. There we go. So there's our, and both of them are out. Our pool is together, so you can now get a sort of size difference. Yesterday afternoon, we sat here and we talked about our two monitor lizards, and there you can get a very clear size difference between the two to see just how much bigger the one is on the right than the one on the left. And they, one on the left went inside that little hole just to the left of its foot and disappeared inside there, and then the bigger one was out. But it seems that both of them are back there again together and staying in the same place and they're busy sunning themselves they will be loving this bit of sun that has come out this afternoon it's been a cold overcast dreary day and you'll find that a situation where these guys have spent some time on the banks now just to warm up a little bit and hopefully we'll then be able to get a little bit more active in the afternoon when it comes to searching for food and trying to find the nutrients to keep them alive they are a reptile which means that generally they have quite a slow metabolism particularly in the winter months and so they're not going to require massive amounts of food to sustain them every single day. You'll find if there's an opportunity, they'll go after it. But otherwise, it's going to be quite sort of slow feeding process for them. If they are mating, they'll need a bit of warmth just to get that blood circulating and to be able to then be quite active inside the room of romance. But how amazing is their camouflage? So when you see them up close, they've got these bright colorations on them. There's lots of bits of yellow. But when Craig starts coming back like that, you can see, watch how they just disappear into that bank. It becomes, if it wasn't for the tail, the body section actually blends in incredibly well. You can hardly see the smaller one on the left now. You can just make out the tail of the one on the right. And so their camouflage is perfect for spending time around the edges of water sources where you get this sort of darker, grayish kind of mud very clever so is he you're saying the tail is huge what is the purpose or the function of having such a long tail well is he it's twofold one is for a being able to propel them when they not only are on land but in water it helps him to swim much faster using a long powerful tail and the second thing is is a very good defensive weapon now you can imagine if another monitor comes and there's a fight for territory they'll turn with their tails and they'll whip each other also things like leopard and lion they can use that tail just to get rid of those and make sure that they keep them at bay so they use their tail a lot when they're trying to defend themselves they puff themselves up and then flick that tail and it acts just like a whip in a way being so long and particularly with that thin end i would imagine it must be quite sore when that thing hits you so i wouldn't really want to tangle with one i do know a guy that's got bits in y1 and we had to use a pair of pliers to actually push the pliers between his hand and the jaw and then pry the jaws open to get it to release him otherwise it was impossible to get that monitor to release and that guy was in a lot of pain so not only can they whip with their tail but they have a serious bite on them as well and so it's an animal you don't mess around with and certainly not one that you'd want to pick up So, Project Alpha, you say, must be a useful leopard deterrent or whip, to, in, especially in leopard country. And when you are as slow as you are as a monitor, monitors are not nearly as fast as what a leopard would be. But you'd be surprised how fast a monitor can move. Everybody thinks they're slow, sluggish creatures. You'll be very surprised how fast these guys can, can run away from you. They're very quick. They use those four legs and big, powerful feet. And they get that grip from those long nails and they'll then just run away from you as quick as you can imagine. And they try and dive into vegetation, water, into holes and banks like you see there where they can then get away from those leopards. But these two will have to be careful if Shongila and Hosano, who spend quite a bit of time around here, see them. They certainly would try and have a go. The nice thing for these monitors is that bank is so open that they're going to see any leopard coming from a mile away. And it means it's going to be very difficult for any leopard to get anywhere near them. You can see there's not really any place to stalk them along that bank. And so these monitors almost have the penthouse suite. They've got a water overlooking some water. They've got a nice little hole there. Open bank. It's about as good as it gets if you're a monitor lizard. Very nice.